Hey, what is going on everyone? This is going to be just a short introduction video on what exactly I'm using for my browser, code editor and expansions and so forth and so on. So for the browser, I'm using obviously Google Chrome. Now you could use anything you want. You could use Mozilla Firefox, use Opera if you wish. I'm using Google Chrome. It just fits me. It has excellent developer tools, so it just fits my needs. But of course, as I said, you can use whatever you wish. Now for the code editor, I'm using Visual Studio Code. Although I started out a couple of years back with Atom. Atom, I thought to be really good. It still is. Don't get me wrong. Also, I tried out Sublime Text, but I ended up using Visual Studio Code. So after Visual Studio released Visual Studio Code, and it has a ton of new updates. You can, by the way, you could either use Visual Studio Code the stable build or you could use the insider edition i'm using both of them actually so if you click on insider edition the difference is you're going to get much frequent updates all of the updates are actually stable i never had problems with them but well it is an option now for visual studio code if you wish to use it just click on download if you're a mac this is going to be automatically for Mac, if you actually if you go to downloads, yeah, you can choose your. You can either download it for Windows, you can either download it for for Linux, or for Mac. Now I'm using Mac and Windows. Don't ask me why. I just do. So as I said, download it, install it, and you will get greeted with this actually bare bones Visual Studio Code with nothing in it. So let's start from scratch and set it up to have exactly my environment. Uh, but first of all, let's create a folder. So right click on your desktop or wherever, create a folder. I'm just going to call it my folder and I'm going to drag and drop it in here. Now you could either drag and drop or you could open new folder, go to wherever you saved it, my folder. Select it and it would open. On a Mac, it's a bit different, but not that much. Okay, now if you wish to create files, you can click on new files, so far and so on. I have an entire course on Visual Studio Code, so if you wish to check that out, you could do so. Uh, nevertheless, let's go to extensions. Now on the left side, actually, let me make this larger. Let me enlarge this. Let's just say we're going to stay here. Enlarge this to here. And with Control or Command on Mac and plus, you can enlarge the text. So I'm going to actually go this way so you can see everything that I do. Now, first things first, let's install Live Server. This is very important. Live Server is, let me just show you. So let's type in Live Server. Well, basically, you're going to get the server, not Live Share, Live Server. Now, click on Install. Uh, this is very quick. It's already installed. Now, let's go to our folder. Let's create the index.html. Okay, we have this created. Let's create a quick boilerplate. Let's say a H1, a capital H1. Why did I do this? H1 sub, I don't want to say hello world. Okay, now if you did this, and do we need to restart? Let's do a quick restart. There's actually two ways of, yep, down here. You, you could either click on go live, and it will ask you, is it okay? Yes, it's okay. And there's our, what's up? Okay, there's our page. Now, if you now drag and drag it to the left side, I wish to have my code edit on the left side and my folders on the right side. So my current project. Now, if you wish to edit something, let me make this. Let's say you want to add H2 with all good and control S or save file it will automatically update okay it's the same thing as clicking on refresh now this would just make your things a bit faster if you don't do this then you should then you would need to go to your folder and double click that index file and open it up and constantly hit refresh each time you you make a modification to it okay so this is uh, our first extension now the next extension is for me extremely useful now you can see the way they let me show you, uh, the paragraph tag with lorem Oh, and we don't have Emmet. We'll also install that. Elorm, lorem, ipsum. We don't even have this. Ah, oh. bare bone Visual Studio Code. Okay, so for our next extension, let's install Prettier, which will, well, it will automatically 
rearrange your code. So let's start in here, prettier. And it's actually the first one. Install it. The next extension that I would suggest to use is bracket pair colorizer. Now what this does, it just colorizes your brackets. Okay, so after we have this installed, let's create a new file. I'm going to create a JavaScript file. So let's say main.js. Now in JavaScript, you know you will have parentheses in parentheses in parentheses. So let's create an if statement. And after we have our if statement, let's say something happens here and then something else should happen. And this is blah, blah, blah. And then if this happens, then we can create another if statement. You can see the, the parentheses, the camel case, everything is going to change. So if I create here another if statement, then we're going to have another different color. If I create another one, it's going to have another different color. Let's say I go here with an else, else, and this is still blue. And if I create here another if statement, and again, this has another color. Okay. And also, let's say, let's create a function with something. And within this function, we're going to create a array. And this array will have a for each loop on it. And you can see within here, we have now our error function. This error function has, again, different colors and so forth and so on. Okay, so this is extremely useful. Now let's go back to our extensions. And the next extension I'm going to show you is, and it's extremely useful, is better comments. So what this does, it allows you to exactly like you see here, let me zoom in a bit more. This doesn't help. It allows you to create different types of comments. So if you create a comment with a star, it's going to be this light green, then an exclamation bar is going to be red, question mark is would, would be blue. If you type in to do, let me actually show you this. So let's say I'm going to create here a comment and let's say comment. Now you go to the start, hit the star, it's going to change color. It's going to be lighter green. Exclamation mark is going to make it blue. Uh, red question mark is going to make it blue. And then if you type in to do, it's going to make it orange. Okay, so that's basically it. It's, this is pretty helpful, believe me. Okay, that's basically it for for the main setup. Let's see, did I forget anything? Now for snippets, you could also, let's go here and search for HTML and CSS uh, support. This is very important. And the snippets. So let's go into our HTML and let's say I'm doing an H1. This is already using Emmet, and now if I type in Lauren Ipsen, now I'm going to have this Emmet. Now, if you have this problem, this is word wrap, you can do now a control shift MP and you can type in word wrap, uh, word wrap, uh, preference wrap. There we go, and toggle it on, okay? And this will toggle on word wrap, basically going to compress your text. Now, for JavaScript, a pretty useful extension is the JavaScript ES6 snippets, code extensions, and this will give you all the code extensions for ES6. Okay, now install this and then you should be good to go. So this being said, hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time. Bye bye.